Hi everyone, welcome back to my eyeshadows art project. Uh, my name is Melissa and today we'll be making a bottle cap fish art. This is what the, uh, the final outcome should look like. In order to complete this project, you will need blue construction paper, yellow construction paper, green streamer, scissors, glitter. You can use whatever color glitter you'd like. For this project, I'm going to use blue. Glue, uh, you can use glue stick or the regular glue. I'm going to use both. You will need four sets of, or four googly eyes for each fish. And you will need four bottle caps and red and blue paint. Okay? So, in order to get started, we are going to paint... Or let's start by gluing the bottle caps onto the, the blue paper, okay? So, I am going to put glue on the bottom of the bottle cap, just like that. And we're going to glue that onto the paper. You can put them anywhere on the page. They are going to be your fishes on the page. And one last one. Perfect. Now when the paint is completely dry onto the page, um, we are going to start painting our fishes, but I'm going to start, do that, start doing that now. Hopefully doesn't, um, the bottle caps don't come off. But make sure you start on top and then you work on the outside. Just like that. Okay. So I'm doing blue first. I'm going to start painting my red. Red is such a pretty color. It's bright. Just like that. Okay, red and blue. Perfect. Now what we are going to do is we are going to start cutting our fins. So the yellow construction paper, we are going to cut into triangles for the fish tails, okay? Okay, so there's one fin. We're going to make four. There's two. Three. And you can make them different sizes. It's up to you. I'm making them different sizes just so they look cool. 
okay? And we are going to glue that onto our construction paper, okay? So, I'm going to use glue stick for this. Glue it onto the yellow paper and stick it on your blue construction paper near the bottle caps, just like this. There we go. You're going to continue doing that process until you get rid of your yellow construction paper and you cover all of, or you put a, a fin, a tail, on all of your bottle caps, all your fishes. you go they're all on there perfect okay now the next thing you will do is you will crinkle up the tissue paper this uh, this paper here and you're gonna make it look like seaweed so for me I'm going to maybe cut it in half and maybe just twist like that. And we're going to glue that throughout our, our blue construction paper here, okay? So for this, I am going to actually use this wet glue. I'm going to do a line of glue on the blue construction paper just like that. If you guys can see that. Can you see that? Perfect. And I'm just gonna glue that constra or that uh, streamer paper onto the blue paper for seaweed. Okay. Keep repeating that process until we have maybe four or five pieces of seaweed on our paper. Just like this. Okay, there's your seaweed. Cool. Now We are going to color in the tails a little bit, maybe make like lines or squiggly lines. So you all also will need crayons. I'm gonna use the black crayon for this. And you can make straight lines, wiggly lines, whatever you choose. And 
there I colored in the tails you do whatever kind of line you'd like squiggly horizontal vertical um, but these are the way I decided to decorate my tail and then what we will do next is we are going to add our googly, our googly eyes on the fish, okay? So what you could do is you can wait for the glue to completely dry, which I totally recommend. But I am going to start gluing the eyes on there already and hoping they stick. Okay, so I added a dot of glue depending on which way the fish is heading. Just like that. And there we have our eyes on the fish, okay? The last thing we're going to do is we are going to add bubbles. So we're going to add glue and add glitter on the uh, on the glue to make it look like bubbles, okay? So I'm going to do a couple of bubbles here. Okay, we are going to start adding our glitter. I mean, glitter can get very messy, so I recommend you use like maybe a backdrop. That way, you can put whatever glitter you have left, um, put it back in the bag. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers and start putting glitter on the glue. Only on the parts that have glue, okay? And I recommend you do this until the paint from the fish is completely dry because the way I'm doing it now, um, I can accidentally get glitter on the fish, which you don't want to do. But if you do, it's totally okay. You can have a glittery fish. Glitter is beautiful, but it can get very messy. Okay? And the... Extra glue, I ha or the extra glitter I have, I'm gonna just throw that on the paper that I have underneath. And there I have it. Can you see how beautiful that is? And that is our bottle cap art fish, okay? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.